Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. Today, we are going on a little side quest. It has to do with the main quest. We're just gonna go and talk to Cleaver, the dwarven uh, gang leader that we saw at the bathhouse when we first met Dijkstra. And uh, we're gonna try and find out if he knows where uh, we can find Holson Jr. So let's start the gangs of Novigrad. Okay, he's smacking something. A wee minute, Witcher. A wee minute. Now, I'm curious something mighty. How is it you were off the same bloody night Horson tried to kill me? Twas chance, honest. I was at the brothel. I've witnesses. I don't doubt you found some witnesses, but I do doubt the bit about chance. Know what? Shite conversation this. So much blethering, we've got nowhere. And whack him on the head. Led you have a chat with him? It's simple. I want to know where all son is. Okay then. Are you going to torture him in the you. background? Never... Yep, okay. No, no, I know nothing. Ooh. That's pretty gruesome. Okay. Help me find Junior. I'm about to send my lads around Horson's hideouts. Won't say no to a witch's blade. Leave well. my men, take the water Junior, and drag him out of his hidey hole. Win win situation, as I see it. Sounds good. Um, but Horson, we need some information from the man. Horson can't die until I've talked to him. My lads are hot-headed and I like them like that. Want to rein them in, do so on your own. Okay then, if you give me the power to do so. Fine, I'll help your men. All right. Now, I suspect Junior's hiding at his casino in Gildorf. Either that or near the arena beneath the bits. My lads will be there. Find him. So we already got those instructions from Dijkstra. But now we have the help of Cleaver's Dwarves. So first, let's take a peek at the uh, casino. So see you there in a second. But before we enter the casino, I uh, had some work done in between the, uh, the recordings. And I've leveled up again, so... Let's see about this now, shall we? We unlocked another slot at level 15. So now we can put that... Poison Blades ability over there. And we're gonna get upgraded once more again. So now we have a 9% chance with each hit to poison the target if we have the correct oil applied. So hello. Set to go. Anytime. Gerald the Rev. <laughs> awesome. Ready? Right up. We go on your mark. Gerald the Riv. Let's go then. Okay, let's go, dwarves. So, let's defeat those tugs now, shall we? Uh, that stench. Okay, they don't really need my help, apparently. Holy shit! And heads off! Let's head upstairs, my little yeah. dwarven friends. There we go. Kinda all died. 
But maybe we can find something here that's worth attacking everybody here for. Whoa! Hello! Don't really know where, uh... My dwarven friends are. So let them hit me once to get my health back. Goodbye, one. And goodbye, two. So, let's search the casino. The casino, that's what I meant to say. I don't know why that weird word came out of my mouth. So, let's see. Search the casino. We found a letter on that guy. But now that we're here, we can as well loot the place. Beat you half to death. Hey, can you hear me? Okay, hello. Rico. You alive? Don't finish me. Don't intend to. Who the hell are you? Heard screaming downstairs. It's all right now. Will you help me? Of course we will. Um. What's your name? Rico. Rico Meyersdorf. Why are you here? <sighs> What's it look like? Came here to sit and think. Oh, well, he's a joker. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Okay then. And are you? Are you? Well, yeah. Kinda. Yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Interesting. Stay a while. Why would I tell him to stay a while? Run. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See him. Be sure to reward you. Okay, we'll remember that. I wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. Huh, and why would we tell him that? Didn't get much help from those dwarves. So let's get back outside and check out... Maybe I should check out that letter. List of debtors. Adalbert Zimmer, Gwynhose, Littes Belaze. Not really familiar name, so I don't care. So I looted the rest of those guys and I got back outside. And now we can go either to Junior's hideout to the arena or uh, back to Dijkstra to tell him about Wilson's ties to the Rudanians. Um I might even do that first. I'm kind of curious to see what he's going to tell me. So uh, back at the bathhouse, Dijkstra has uh, upped his defenses apparently. Let's see. If he's interested in some information. Got a minute? I do. Hello, my enormous friend. Wiley, Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. Okay, then I got it from a reliable source. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the big four. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell. Vernon Roach. He's yep, holding up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. 
Okay then. So we can talk to Vernon Roche. I'm gonna first... Hello! Okay, hi! First gonna talk... Uh, check out Junior's hideout. See if we can't find anything there. So in the meantime, and uh, I'm at the uh, entire opposite side of Novigrad. I think I found his hideout. And there are again two, uh, two cleave men of cleaver uh, right here, and they're inside as well. Okay, so let's see if we can find anything here. Dead collectors didn't leave a scrap. Okay then. They clearly killed the hell out of everything that was here. Come on. There's a lot of handy loot here. Alchemy uh, materials. Let's head upstairs. Carol the Riv. Yes, it's me, Gerald the Riv. Holy. He took a wrong path. Nothing interesting here. Okay then. Ugh. This thing. Place has been scrubbed clean. Okay. So nothing in here then. And then we'll quickly go and check out the arena. So again, said this uh, a lot, but uh, see you on the other side. And then we head back through the lower regions of Novigrad and in a hidden corner, there are two bouncers here. Greetings. So let's see if Don't we can't you, convince them to let Don't me in. Stand there. Hmm, hey, hmm, this is way more interesting. I want my chance in the arena. Come in. Who's in charge? Igor. I call him Hook. And the other one is kind of confused. About of sudden sincerity. <laughs> Luckily, the other one is uh, as dumb as a donkey's ass. So let's head inside. Let's see if we can't fight in the arena to lure Horson out. Hello, Igor. Ooh, I need work. Nice dog. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? <laughs> How about Horson Jr.? Horson Jr.'s made a load of enemies. I know that much. Maybe I could be of use. Junior can take care of himself. You needn't fret about him. But I can't help wonder how you know this place belongs to him. Heard it does. That's all. Forget you heard of Junior. Keep Elfie. That's my advice. Hmm. Forget I said anything. I don't need your advice. Not your hireling. Won't take your orders. Don't need your advice. You're not my hireling, that's true. But so uppity. Afraid you need to die. Oh, I might have Killing. made a mistake. Those were fangs, jeez Christ. This is a problem. Okay. Oh, 
Keep it together, mates! There goes one. I think that if hang phantoms will come in handy. Fuck. Okay, we cleared out the first place. Let's move on. And let's move our way up. Okay. Still in one piece. Oh, they're shooting their own guys. Okay. Now the guard is the only one left. There we go. Stab him in the stomach. So, didn't really want to end it that way, but everybody's dead. And let's loot everything. Igor Ski. Message from Igor. Since there's been some misunderstanding lately about the valuables and a bit of blood's been spilled for no plowing reason whatsoever, I'd like to reassure you all the coin is safe and sound in the lockbox. The blind asshole who thought it was missing was looking in the wrong place. Walk down the corridor leading from the upper level towards the arena, turn so your backs to the grating and look to the wall opposite to you. If you've eyes to see, you'll find what you're looking for. Let, let me emphasize that Horson Jr.'s crowns have not been touched not a single copper is missing. I swear on my own handsome head that they're secure and waiting to be picked up. Igor. So I think we can steal from the man now. Because I'm gonna loot everybody I've killed. And there have been a lot of casualties. So somewhere around the arena there is... A lockbox hidden? There's a door here. Going down even further. Let's head down then. Maybe there's something over here. Oh, there we go. Downstairs there's a hidden lever. Floor is worn by a moving door. Something behind this wall. Interact. Click. Oh yeah, treasure. So just head down and if you're using your richer senses, it's quite obvious. Hunting gauntlets. A mysterious letter. Let's check that out. 
To Horson Jr., King Radovid is unhappy with your performance. You were to rid the city of the other members of the so-called Big Four. Yet not only do they still live, but they also know of your role in their attempted assassination. That was not our arrangement. For the time being, hide in the place which the messenger delivering this missive will indicate to you, and stay out of sight. His Majesty lives in the hope that mutual animosity between the other members of the Big Four will finish the job which you attempted, yet flopped so badly. And so uh, we already knew he was working with Radovid, and this only confirms it. So the only thing we haven't done yet right now is talk to Vernon Roche in the camp. So let's head back outside now, shall we? Get out of the sewers. So back outside, I'm gonna make my way outside of the city towards Oxenford and uh, see where uh, our dear friend Vernon Roche is hiding. Oxenford Gate. So let's warp there. See you in a second. So back at Oxenford, I'm gonna take Roach. Okay. Oh, there he is. Take Roach towards that cave, but in the meantime uh, I'm gonna take a little break, so if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like this video on YouTube, and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of this uh, this series and for more in, of other series and other games. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video, where we will check up on Vernon Roach and this little secret cave Goodbye.